Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be going over the best foundations available at Priceline for fair skin. If you're as fair as me, then you would know that it can be a struggle at times to find foundations fair enough to suit our skin tone. And I feel as though the market has definitely heard consumers saying this over and over again lately, and even drugstore brands are starting to expand their shade ranges, which is just fantastic. So the options available at Priceline are actually getting better, and I do have eight foundations to go over with you today. For reference, I have normal combination skin and I have a neutral undertone. Now, a lot of the foundations I'm going to mention, I do have individual reviews on, where I go in depth about how they perform, I have swatch comparisons and demos. So I will link any of those reviews down below. And also at the end of this video, I will do swatches of all the foundations that I mention. All right, well, if you're excited for this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you have any other foundations that are available at Priceline that are really suitable for us fair skin gals. First up is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I have this in the shade 0.5N Porcelain. This one has a medium buildable coverage with a natural finish that just leaves the skin looking so fresh and kind of glowy. I would say it's more of a satin matte formula. As I mentioned, it does build quite well. So if you're after a little bit of extra coverage in certain areas, you can definitely add on to that. It's a very lightweight foundation and feels very comfortable on the skin. The longevity on this one was pretty average. It lasted for about seven hours on me. Next is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I actually have two shades in this. The first is 110 Porcelain and 102 Fair Porcelain. Both of these are very, very fair shades with neutral undertones. Now this foundation works well for normal to oily skin types because it is designed to absorb oil for a matte finish. Even though the title does say matte and poreless, I don't find this to be an overly drying matte formula. It leaves a really nice natural matte finish and I don't find that it clings to any dry patches on my skin. This one also has a medium buildable coverage and it lasts well for around that seven to eight hour mark. Next is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and I have this one in the shade Porcelain. Now this is a fair shade, but it's not super fair. This one is described to have a neutral undertone, but if you're more cool or warm, but also very fair, they do have other shades in the range that would be better suited to you. Now, in my first impressions video of this one, I wasn't the biggest fan, but that's the problem with first impressions because after I continued to try it, I absolutely fell in love and this is a foundation that I have repurchased on several occasions. Now, one of the downfalls to this foundation is that it only comes with 13 mils of products, whereas most other foundations come with 30. So I would only ever buy this foundation when it's on sale because I'm pretty sure it retails for around that $24, $25 mark. Now this formula is very thin and liquidy, so it's very versatile. You can use it for a more sheer coverage or build it up for something a bit more full. Of course, I like a more full coverage and I'm definitely able to achieve this with this foundation. It builds really easily, it doesn't go cakey and it still feels really lightweight on the skin. It has a matte finish, kind of similar to the Maybelline Matte and Poreless where it's not super matte and it doesn't cling to any dry patches. And I love the longevity of this foundation, a good nine to 10 hours wear on me. Next is another one by NYX, and this is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. Now this formula is very, very matte. So if you have dry skin, it's probably not the one for you. Within this range, there are so many super fair shades. It is freaking amazing. I have tried a few, but I found the best match for me was Light Porcelain. Now this foundation has a really great coverage. With one layer, you get that flawless full coverage, so it doesn't require much building. And even though it does have a thicker formula, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. The super matte formulas I find tend to be the ones that last longer on my skin. And this one gave me a good 10 plus hours, still looking absolutely fresh and flawless. This is also one of those foundations that I really love for mixing in with other foundations. If I have something, say like the L'Oreal True Match, I just want it to last that little bit longer or be a little bit more matte, 
I'll add a pump of that in. Or if I want to lighten up a foundation, this is also a good option. Next is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. And Makeup Revolution has recently entered Priceline and I am just so happy about it. Now I have the shade F1 here, which is for fair skin with neutral undertones, but they did recently expand their shade range. I'm pretty sure there are about 50 shades to choose from now, and they are all available at Priceline online. There are at least five other shades under F1. I haven't tried it in the Conceal and Define formula, but I have tried a lighter shade in the Conceal and Hydrate formula. Unfortunately, the Conceal and Hydrate isn't available at Priceline yet, but I'm sure it will come eventually. The lighter shade I end up trying is F0.7, which also has a neutral undertone, but is about a shade lighter than F1. So it works perfectly for me. Now this foundation is described as full coverage, but I would say it's more of that medium buildable coverage. I do like a foundation with that kind of coverage for every day anyway, because depending on how bad my skin is, is how much I'm gonna build it up. Again, this one is a matte formula, but I find it to be more of that natural skin-like matte finish. So it's not super drying and heavy on the skin. It just gives that really nice, fresh, full coverage look. I would say the finish is quite similar to the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. The formula is just a little thicker. Unfortunately, the longevity wasn't the best with this one on me. It did only last around that six to seven hour mark. And on really hot days, this foundation was a no-go. So just don't wear it in 35 to 40 degree heat. Any other time, it's perfect. Next is the Inoxa Anti Redness Foundation. And this one is still quite new to me, but I wanted to mention it because the shade is absolutely spot on. Now this one has medium buildable coverage, it has a matte finish, and it's described to be able to calm redness and even skin tone. Now, as I mentioned, what I love most about this foundation so far is the shade. It has a neutral undertone and it is super fair. I am still testing this one out, figuring out how long it lasts on me and how it holds up. So if you want to see a full review, just leave me a comment down below and I will speed that up for you. But so far, I am really liking this foundation and it's definitely one of the better neutral undertone foundations that I found at Priceline. Next, we have the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Foundation, and this is quite a new release to Priceline. It has a full coverage, it's a very thin and lightweight formula, and a little goes a long way. I do only suggest applying one layer of this foundation, because I did try building it up and I found it had the tendency to go a little bit cakey. The coverage is absolutely amazing though, so really you only need one layer and it doesn't need to be built up. Now this foundation does have a matte formula, it's quite a matte formula, and I found even on me, it worked best when my skin was super hydrated. Now, I picked up the second lighter shade, which is called Fairest, and this one is described to have a neutral undertone. I did find the undertone to be a little bit more on the warmer side, though. The shade underneath this, I'm pretty sure it's called Ivory, was very cool and pink, though. So if you did want to try this foundation, I would definitely go into store and swatch a few shades, just so you can get a feel for it. The best part of this foundation is the longevity. Oh my God. It lasted well over 11 hours and it still looked so good. I had no oils coming through. It was barely breaking up and everything just looked so smooth and flawless. I was absolutely amazed. And lastly, I wanted to mention the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. Now, unfortunately, this one doesn't come in a fair enough shade here in Australia, but it is one of my favorite foundations, so I just had to mention it. At Priceline, the lighter shade is called Ivory, and it is a tad dark, but if you do have some lightning drops, you can mix those in and you'll be able to get a more suitable shade. The US range has two fair shades, 102 and 110, and these are both much more suitable if you're around my skin tone. One has a cool undertone and one has a neutral. I picked mine up off eBay, so if you just search them up, you can get them there for a pretty reasonable price. Now, what I love about this foundation is that it has amazing, amazing coverage, really great longevity, and it holds up so well in the heat. It does have a matte finish, but it's not super drying. I would say it's kind of in between the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop and the NYX Total Control. 
The Maybelline sits right in the middle. It just feels so comfortable on the skin, leaves such a beautiful finish, and it does a really good job at controlling my oils too. So throughout the day, I don't have too much coming through on my T-zone. This one lasts really well on me for that nine to 10 hour mark. I have just been in love with this foundation ever since I tried it. It's such a great one if you're doing really glam looks too. It's just a real shame that Australia doesn't have those super fair shades because it is definitely my favorite foundation out of all the ones I've mentioned today. And then the last product I quickly want to mention today are the Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. Now this is simply a white liquid that you can add into any foundation to make it lighter. So if you've got super fair skin, it's a product I definitely recommend having in your collection. It doesn't alter the consistency or the finish of your foundation at all. All it does is make it lighter. It's definitely something that I think every fair skinned person should have in their makeup collection. All right, well, they are all the foundations I'm going to talk about today. Let's jump into some swatches and you can compare the shades for yourself. Okay, so first up, we have the L'Oreal True Match in 0.5N Porcelain. Here we have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 and 102. Here we have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in Porcelain. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Light Porcelain. And this is a lighter shade called Pale. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in F1. And then I just popped here the Conceal and Hydrate in F0.7. So you can see the difference between those. This is the Inoxa Anti Redness Foundation in Porcelain. Here we have the Astralis Fresh and Flawless in Fair. And this is the Maybelline Superstay in the lightest Australian shade Ivory. And then lastly, I've just got the Astralis Lightning Drops. All right, guys, well, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as I said earlier, if you have any other foundation recommendations, leave them in the comments below so everyone can have a little read. Also, let me know your thoughts on any of the foundations I mentioned because I would love to have a little chat. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would look around and subscribe. And if you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Itchy. So itchy. Stop it. Oh, it hurts. Hold, hold the phone, sister. Swatches. Let's just go to a thumbnail. Ow.